Hello, mythical Pokemon. We've been expecting you. <laughs> oh, these just get stupider and stupider each time. Are you swear to God? Oh my God. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. Welcome back to yet another Pokemon Brick Bronze video. I am wearing my glasses again today. I'm sorry if the light reflects in them, but it's okay anyway. Uh, so today's video is going to be a pretty awesome one, kind of just discussing and kind of making a little bit of a theory about a certain mythical Pokemon that could be popping up uh, sometime soon in Pokemon Brick Bronze. I know a lot of people have had this theory before. It is not yet my own. I guess I think it, but other people think it too. So it's a shared theory, <laughs> I guess. Um, but anyway, guys, before we get into today's video, I would like to say we did hit 150,000 subscribers on my channel, which is just amazing. So that means that, yes, the 150 shiny giveaway that I'm doing will be taking place on Saturday. Now, Saturday is a day I chose because uh, nobody's in school, you know? Nobody's in school. It's a very lenient day. I didn't choose Sunday because I know that some people like to go to bed early to go to school or to work, and also some people do participate in Sunday school. So Saturday is the day, and and uh, yeah, just keep an eye out for the live stream, guys. It's going to be pretty awesome. Now, into the video. Like I said, guys, a certain mythical Pokemon has yet to appear in Pokemon Brick Bronze. But I feel like that will change very soon. Now, this Pokemon is expected to appear in Brimber City. Or should I say, underneath Brimber City. So a lot of people know that if you go to the volcano here in Brimber, there is this guy punching a huge, huge rock. And, you know, it's very conveniently placed there just to kind of stop the lava uh, from spilling all over these people's houses and killing them and causing them a terrible death. Um, so yeah, the, it's very conveniently placed there. Now, a load of months ago, a couple of months ago, a lot of people found that if you come around this end, you can actually see that there is a passage underneath this rock and you can see that it has one or two stair steps right there as you can see you know little stairs kind of pop down and also if you kind of just go into your hoverboard you can see underneath this rock every now and then and kind of see what's underneath it now it's nothing too great but it does prove that there is a block underneath there in which will lead us to an underground path underneath the volcano now, previously, it was thought that Heatran was going to be that Pokemon. Heatran was going to be the legendary Pokemon that would appear underneath that rock and that we would get him and yeah, that would be pretty cool. But no, in fact, Heatran was one that you find inside the very bottom of the volcano. I'm assuming that this little area right here, uh, the, the, the kind of downstairsy part, goes to a completely different place. It's kind of crazy how three like, mythical slash legendary Pokemon are going to be in this one area. You know, we had uh, Gurdon, then we had Heatran, and soon we will have Volcanon. Now, Volcanon is a Pokemon that appeared in, I believe, the, let's see, it was Generation VI. What is VI in Roman numerals? I can't remember. I just cannot remember. <laughs> but, anyway... Volcanon is a very awesome fire slash water type Pokemon. It is extremely awesome. They actually class it as a mythical Pokemon in Pokemon. That's that's crazy. I would have thought him as a, a legendary. I don't know. Mythical seems to be like more fairy type and stuff like that. I guess I'm just being... Um, uh, silly, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, this Pokemon is pretty awesome, you know? It's a fire type water, a uh, fire and a water type. Who wouldn't want that? I mean, going into PvP with this guy would be extremely awesome. Uh, his abilities include water absorb, and his catch rate is actually 0.4. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, of course, he doesn't have an egg group. And uh, his regional numbers for the... Uh, let's see, I think he's the last Pokemon to appear in the Kalos region uh, Pokedex. Yes, he actually is. He's number 721. That seems a little bit crazy. 721? Yeah, it's 721. So he is the Pokemon after Hoopla. How crazy is that? Or Hoopa. Um, 
But yeah, this Pokemon is extremely awesome. I actually watched a episode of him, or I believe it was like a little clip of him in the anime series, and it just looked absolutely insane. He looks so cool, and uh, yeah, I definitely cannot wait to get my hands on this Pokemon. But I thought that I would actually make this video today to kind of make newer players who have only just got into Pokemon Brick Bronze aware about this little kind of little secret kind of passageway and that yes, a mythical Pokemon will be spawning down there eventually. Like we all said, we all thought it was going to be Heatran. I'm pretty much sure I speak for half of the Pokemon Brick Bronze community when I say that, that yeah, we thought that Heatran was going to be down there. But uh, no, it's actually going to be Volcanon. A lot of people did speculate that it could be Moltres, but if you think about it, why would Moltres be underground? He would be up top, right? And it would be kind of silly if they introduced Moltres before they introduced Ho-Ho and Lugia, you know, because it is suspected that uh, I think it was Ho-Ho created Moltres, or was it Lugia? I can't remember. But if you remember, comment down in the comment section below. I would actually uh, like a refresher course on that. Anyway, guys, yeah, I just thought I would give my whole little speculation about this little area. And uh, if you agree, feel free to tell me in the comment section below. If you disagree, also feel t free to tell me as you you know, you have an opinion, you speak your opinion, guys. Uh, but anyway, have an awesome day, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.